You already know, J. Mr. Real Estate. I'm out in NYC, man. I got the... I got the driver with me. And um, out in NYC. And I'm chilling, man, but honestly, I'm still heartbroken. Like, I did the BET panel last night on Baltimore and our community oppression. And I'm just saddened that by the reality of like what our community is actually going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't put ourselves in this situation. We blame ourselves for everything. We blame our leaders. We blame our rappers. We blame our community. We blame our gangbangers. We blame our youth. But we didn't put ourselves in this situation. And yes, all those people have to be accountable though. We have to be accountable to help get us out of this situation, out of this oppression, out of this authoritative rule, this government rule, you know what I'm saying? But it's just sad that there's so much division and not enough unity and I don't know what to do about it, man. Like, uh, I seriously feel like crying as a grown black man, 6'3", 230 pounds, I feel like crying because it's just not enough unity. What's up, Mark? Woo, 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 woo. That's my driver taking a picture. But, um... <laughs> right there, my boss, something. Right. But, yeah, man, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not a racist, obviously. I, I love all people. But I know the struggle of black people. And I'm trying to get us out of it. I don't know what to do. I'm willing to sacrifice everything for... All progression and um whoever can feel my pain feel my heart whoever is like-minded please collaborate with me you know what I'm saying like I'm not ego driven um, I'm not arrogant you know what I'm saying not in our community issues anyway you know what I'm saying so who I am in business who I am in my personal life is totally different than who I am when it comes to our community issues and I love us man and I want to see African Americans unoppressed, man. I want to see us. I want to see us name ourselves. Like we've been named African American, we've been named Black, we've been named Negro, we've been named Colored, we've been named Niggers, Niggas. I want to see us take our own destiny to our own hands. And anyone that can help me, help us do this, rock out with me. I'm, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? It's just that when you're a part of a community that's so blatantly underserved and so blatantly oppressed and you're under a system that has blatant injustices to where the FBI director admitted in the Huffington Post that there's bias there's unconscious or lazy bias he called it within our policing and within the government and when a New York, New York police commissioner can say that the foundation, that slavery was, or slavery was America's original sin and that the foundation of our laws was built on slavery or, or, or that of, or policing was built on, basically the origin of policing was that of slave catchers. And it's bigger than police brutality, but that's like one major issue right now, that's a hot topic. But our economic condition is, is crazy right now. Like, why are blacks so poor? Why are we in the poorest communities? Why are we in the housing projects? It's because the government drew red lines around the map. Literally, they put red lines around the map. The government, our government that we pledge allegiance to. And said, put the black people here. And let's fund housing projects. And the fact that we couldn't be educated for 300 years. We couldn't own businesses for 300 years. Couldn't own land and property for 300 years as a people, as a whole. There might have been an isolated few of us, maybe, but the trauma from that, the vestiges, the residuals from that is so deep that the average American, black or white, can't understand. Um, for some reason, we can understand the pain of Native Americans because they got sovereignty, they got land, they got reparations. We can understand the pain of German Jews because they got land, Israel, they got Reparations, 1.6 billion. And we can understand the pain of Japanese Americans for their two year, two years in internment camps, because they got 1.6 billion in reparations. But for some reason, America, American citizens and black Americans can't understand the pain, 
can't understand the pain of black people, African Americans. And I get our pain, I live it every day. And I just want us to be whole. I just want us to be free. I just would want to be a sustained people, a prosperous people. Like you can't say, no one can say that we're equal. When you look at all this real estate, all this real estate, all these businesses, we couldn't participate in any of this for 300 plus years. And now that we can participate in it, yes, we have the opportunity to, but look at the head start that others got and that we didn't get. How could I ever be equal? Who owns the majority of businesses, the majority of land? Who's the majority in government, majority in Congress, majority in the Senate, majority of governors, majority of mayors? Who's the majority, period? And are they willing to share the wealth that we helped build and we participated in? Our ancestors did anyway. So, it's just painful, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I love people, I'm a compassionate person. And I certainly love my own people, my own community. I love all human beings. And we suffer the most right now, or are suffering the most in America. So, I don't know. I guess if you feel me, join me, rally with me at YMC, joinymc.org, as young minds can, the YMC Community Coalition. New role models. Join me at ymc.org, join ymc.org. Let's figure this out, man. No, no, let's figure it out. Put ego, put ego to the side. Put your own personal interest to the side. Put your book deal, your TV deal to the side. Let's figure this out, man. Our people are hurting, they're dying, man. And the poverty is and oppression is killing us. And I don't know, man. I just want us to figure it out, man. I love our people. If you can hate on this message, I still pray for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you obviously need prayer. So, I love y'all. I love you. I love every one of y'all. Let's figure this out, man. Freedom for black people and depression. Freedom for all people. Justice for all people. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Peace.